Hi, Grade 5, Mr. Connor here. So, as you know, your five years of junior school is coming to an end. It's unfortunate that it's coming to, to an end in this way, where we can't see you here at school, but I'm sure you've still got lots of very happy memories from your time in junior school. But now is the time to start thinking about some important, but also very exciting changes that are coming soon. And fun is over now. Don't worry, it won't be that bad. Welcome to middle school. I'm Miss Andrea, middle school coordinator. This is how the middle school life is going to look like. In middle school, you're going to have a plenty of new teachers. You will have your form tutor, but he won't stay with you the whole time. This is what a normal timetable looks in a day in middle school. So, as you can see, you still have eight periods, eight lessons per day. The only difference is that the, we have now three periods before break instead of two as usual and the break times and lunch times are slightly later than they have been in the junior school but you still have the same amount of break per day and the same number of periods per day and the clubs at the end of the day as we have had before. There are new subjects waiting for you like social studies combining geography, history and civic education and a lots of foreign languages because ESM loves languages. You can choose from French, Spanish, Russian, Japanese, Korean or Chinese. Our assemblies are similar to as they have been in the junior school for when you come into middle school. We will still have one assembly per week and it will be led by a different class most weeks and sometimes by the middle school coordinator. The only difference now is that instead of being the oldest children in the assembly, you're going to be the youngest ones as your assembly will be together with the other middle school grades. Middle school is proud to have its middle school leaders who are role models for the students and run various activities throughout the year. The house system throughout ESM continues from junior school into middle school. So you have the same houses in middle school, which are Austin, Chaplin and Darwin. The only difference now is that in one form group, everyone in that form group will be the same house. It gives you a greater opportunity to work together and build camaraderie and gather points for your team as a whole class. These are the main changes that you're going to experience next year, so it's really not as scary as you might have thought. But if you do have any more questions, then you can of course email Miss Andrea or myself and we will of course get back to you.